going on guys? I am Derp Derp Cake, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my new and improved setup. So I did post a setup tour video about three months ago, but it was my old setup and I just redid everything. And this is my new improved setup. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so here is the setup area. So this is a pretty big desk. I don't know where we got it and I don't know how much it costs, but it is pretty cool. There's a ton of space and I really enjoy the desk. Right here is my beige computer chair. So I got this at Ikea. I don't know the exact product name. Maybe if you just look up beige computer chair, you'll probably find it. I got it when it was on sale for like $60. So I thought it was a really good deal, so I got it. Now right here, there's a ton of open space here. So what I was thinking is maybe when I ever have, if I ever get another monitor, which I probably will, or even if I get a triple monitor set up, I may have one monitor here, then one monitor here, and I think that'll be really cool for now. Um, sometimes I just have my Mac here uh, when I edit and just sit here because this is another desk area. So sometimes I do that. Um, and other than that, it's just a big open space. Right here is just a lamp just for better lighting for my face cam because there isn't very good lighting down in the basement, uh, which is still fine because, you know, this lamp really gives a good, a good decent amount of light, as you can see, because the light bulbs like fluorescent and stuff. So over here we have the face cam. Now this is an HD 1080p Logitech face cam. I don't know the exact product name, but I really wish I would have went for a more expensive one because yes, this is decent, um, but I don't really think the video quality is that good. Uh, even though it is HD 1080p, it doesn't really seem like it. So the monitor is an Asus um, brand. I think it's only like an 18.5 inch. Um, or 19 inch, I don't know exactly. I'll be sure to leave all the specs and everything in the description below. Um, so I'll double check on that. But yeah, this this isn't the biggest monitor, but I'm used to like a 13 inch MacBook monitor. So this is a huge upgrade for me. Down here is just my little Minecraft face in like these bead forms. Um, my brother actually made this for my birthday. So I just keep it here, just chilling. This whole big mouse pad. I don't even know, I don't even know the brand of this, but it looks so cool. This was only $17 and look how long it is. So I get this for my birthday and I think it looks really well and I think it really fits in with the colors. This keyboard is an Asio. Um, it's not really like an expensive keyboard. It's only like $25 on Amazon, but I really like it. The keys are nice to touch and stuff. And um, the, LED, the LED color actually changes when you press this button over here, which is really cool. So there's five colors. I usually keep it on this blue. And then there's LED brightness. Uh, the brightness really doesn't, I mean, I don't really like it if it's any lower than max because it just doesn't look that good. Uh, but it's still, this is still a really nice keyboard. Moving on, this is a Razer Death Adder 2013 edition mouse. I really wish I would have got the chroma so I could change colors. I think you can program colors on the Razer chroma. Uh, but yeah, this screen just doesn't really fit in with my setup. But this is still a really good mouse and I really enjoy using it. Moving on to my Hyper X Cloud headset. Now this is really, really nice. It has a detachable mic. Uh, it is wired, but I really... I, the wire is like really long, so I don't have a problem with it. Um, but the mic quality is really good, the sound quality is good, and it just feels really nice on your head. So if you're looking for a headset, I really recommend the HyperX Clouds. All right, moving on to the big bad PC. So I actually just built this last week, and it works really well so far. It was my first PC build, so I was pretty nervous when building it, but I finished it and it turned on and worked. So I was really excited when I built this. And it's just so satisfying knowing that I built my own PC. Uh, so really sorry about the cable management, guys. It's really bad if I don't even, you can't even see back there, but yeah, it's pretty bad cable management as you can see over here. Uh, so I'll be working on cable management, but back here we have my ethernet plugged in and it runs all along behind this desk. And then if you're following along here, it goes under the carpet. All right, so if, if you can't see it, there's a cord. It goes literally under the carpet all the way over here, through this hall, all the way back through a storage room back there, into my router. So me and my dad worked on that for a good hour or two uh, the other day, and it turned out very well. I also have a uh, Panda Wireless 300 megabytes per second a USB Wi-Fi thing, so that, that's just so if I need Wi-Fi other than Ethernet. Now beware, you're about to look inside my PC, and if you're a PC geek, you're just gonna cry and cringe over this cable management. I'm a very lazy person, but I will get to the cable management soon. All right, so starting to the left, this is a built-in fan. It's really quiet and it works really well. So over here, we have an Intel i5 processor with the fan on top. Over here, we have eight gigs of DDR3 RAM. Now keep in mind, there are um, like three, four, four more slots available. So I 
I'm planning on upgrading to at least 16 gig, maybe even 32 gig in the future. Moving on to the graphics card, we have the GeForce GTX 960 graphics card, as you can see right here. And this is really, really nice. It's a, such a huge graphics card, but it really is worth it. There's two built-in fans under there, and I just love this graphics card. So here we have the power supply. I think this is 600 watt. I'm not exactly sure. I don't really care. I mean, it's just a power supply. Not that big of a deal. But there's so many fans in this PC, and the cable management is terrible. I know. I'm very sorry. Up here, we just have a DVD drive um, just for downloading Windows and downloading other hardware if I need it. Down here, we have one terabyte hard drive, if you can kind of see up there. But yeah, it's one terabyte. I may be um, adding another hard drive in the future, but right now, one terabyte is pretty good. That is pretty much everything in the PC that's of importance. I may be getting an SSD card in the future, but they're pretty expensive, and I think my hard drive works pretty well. All right, guys, that is pretty much my whole setup, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please take the time to leave a like on this video because it really supports my channel, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. I'll be sure to leave the specs down below, and I will be improving cable management. Don't you worry. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.